Lonnie in Tuckwilla, Washington. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better. Because I'm have you seen Mo Better, look at Mo Better. And I'm going to show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. When I cut the Zeiss Light D digital freeform progressive lenses. This time with Transitions Vantage, DuraVision Chrome, and a light gray tint for your Ralph Lauren Polo. Let me take everything out of the original packaging. Your Polo Ralph Lauren. Of course, it comes with uh, actually one of the largest cleaning cloths that any of the designer frame companies give you. This is the model number 2211. Of course, they all come with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. This is color 5786, which is the Havana Azure, which is a blue color. And I really, look, I like that blue. I like that blue. The tortoise and blue, the browns and blues. I wear a lot of those. I may have to rock this frame myself. Of course, it's got the polo rider on each temple. It's got the polo stripes on each temple. But let me begin. I'm going to pop out the original demo lenses. And put the frame into the tracing element of my blocker. Program this shape into the computer so that years from now, should you ever need new lenses for this frame, I can mail them right to your home. A little stylus is going to pop up and go around and trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any genuine, authentic Ralph Lauren polo frame that I sell and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. <coughs> Excuse me. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase. Now, I will be considered out of network for insurance, but you can get the full reimbursement for the health savings account flex dollars. I'm going to move on to the next screen. And I'm going to enter your pupillary distance, which you have 59 for both eyes, for so a total of 29.5. Tap the minus button until we get to 29.5. I want to raise the optical center up. Change the layout screen from single vision to progressive. Now I'm going to take your Zeiss lenses out of the packets. This one is labeled right. I've already got them dotted up. Now, this is a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting, so I need two double-sided adhesive stickers, of which I've got them here. The black side is the sticky side. I'm going to stick that one onto the first block. Do the same thing now for the second one. Whoa now, whoa! It's trying to squirm, get away from me. It's still alive. The silver button on the back is a magnet. I'm going to place that there. Get everything lined up as such. And... Hit that button. The arm's going to come down and place the block onto the right lens. And you can actually see that light gray tint. We had it. That's a 20% gray tint. Lonnie is light sensitive, so he just wanted to do that even while indoors. Now these Transitions Vantage lenses will actually turn polarized gray outside. Vantage is currently the only brand of Transitions that does that. Same PD, same optical center height. Hopefully in the future we'll have it in more colors, but for right now it's just in gray, but that's the color he wanted, so hey, everybody's happy. Now the other nice thing about Zeiss, they document everything, not just on your lens packets. Again, this was the right lens. It has your prescription for the right eye, the bifocal strength. It even says the DuraVision Chrome DVC, the anti-glare the coating that's on there. Same thing for the left. Of course, the other nice thing, they give you an 8x11 piece of paper that you can take back to your doctor that has the prescription for the right eye, your bifocal strength, prescription for the left eye, bifocal strength, your PD, the optical center height, even the base curve of the lens. And if they have an auto refractor at your doctor's office or auto lensometer, it gives you the exact specifications for, for both the distance and the near reading. So, if you guys missed any of that, I put it away too quick. Let me recap. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So, but you're going to get all the manufacturer's original packaging, Zeiss documents, everything, and even gives you a cleaning cloth. How about that? So, let's move everything over to this screen. This will be job ID number 2648. These are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select those materials. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens. 
I wish I didn't have to hit that button on every every time but hey oh well now I'm gonna go ahead and push the sticker firmly onto the right lens place the magnet into the chuck or by now you know I like to call it the Charles because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck hit the green start button the door closes the door is still semi clean it's gonna go around tracing the shape of the right lens first and the old carpenter saying measure twice cut once is measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel for the least amount of edge thickness to show of which you should not have any with your prescription in this frame the cutting wheel is beginning to spin water is spraying in the background that's there to catch the optical sawdust known as schwarf when it comes off the cutting wheel polycarbonate lenses cut dry or plastic high index plastic and trivex lenses cut wet meaning that water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle now water will spray onto these lenses but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical debris you see beginning to form but your lenses are made out of polycarbonate which is 40 percent thinner and lighter than regular plastic they're virtually unbreakable these are high impact ballistics grade lens material the same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel from flying debris it has 100% UVA and UVB protection going all the way up to 400 nanometers. Zeiss offers the most complete UV protection. That's why they partnered with the American Cancer Society because of that. Now we know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So you have permanent sunscreen, unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that have to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun there in Tuckwilla, Washington. Now Lonnie does a lot of fishing, so that's why he likes the transitions polarized, transitions vantage. So the regular photochromic transitions just are tinted, just like a sunglass lens. These will turn polarized when you go outside. It costs more because it does more. Now he's also got the DuraVision Chrome Anti-Glare. He's got the tint on top of that, and you can go up to, this is a 20% tint. You can go up to about a 30 or 40 percent tint without affecting the transitions portion of the lens if it goes above that it's actually too dark for the uv rays to start making the molecules dance around that's going to make the lens turn dark outside at least to its full transitioning Now the anti-glare coating is three features in one. The first feature reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain, but street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead fluorescent lights. It also goes by initials ARC, which stands for anti-reflective coating. So it reduces reflections when someone's looking at you. It makes for much better eye contact. They're not gonna see the reflection of themselves in your lenses. Plus if you take a selfie, you're less likely to see the phone in your lens or if someone takes a picture with a flash you're less likely to see that plus it comes with the industry's hardest scratch coating the machine that applies the anti-glare coating costs well over a million dollars it takes over 24 hours to vaporize eight different coatings onto your lens so because of the time and the expense they put the industry's hardest scratch coating on there to protect their time and investment so let's come down here we're going to see if the lens fits first time around we're going to tuck it in at the outside corner Press down the nose, it snaps right in. Let's go ahead and start cutting the left lens. Flip that over to L, place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, or today I'm calling it the Lonnie. Hit the green start button. Just like before, the door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens again will be traced by the two white styluses, making sure that it is large enough to fit into the frame. And you can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the left side of the frame and measuring the thickness to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing look at that line you got nothing you got nothing there i tell you so that's my really bad robert de niro impression from his very first movie role called mean streets Ooh, eight 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 don't be getting over there so come down here to my lensometer this is known as final inspection i want to read the power off this lens I'm going to turn the axis wheel to 126, put it in over that black dot, read the power, and I am getting plus a quarter, one tick mark away from zero. That's because this is unique. You're far-sided in your right eye, near-sided in your left. 
which happens of course you have the smallest amount of far-sighted correction possible so really you should be nearsighted in both eyes but you have the smallest amount of magnification you can possibly have but you have seven steps one and three quarter diopters of astigmatism correction that's what most of your prescription is in your right eye uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike or the letters p and f think of it as the fine tune knob and we're going to turn that fine tune knob to 126 a straight line is 0 to 90 to 180 we're going to turn that fine tune knob past the 90 meridian to about 126 so let's check that second curvature of the lens and we're at minus 150 exactly halfway between 1 and 2 that's because uh, if you had a quarter and you owed someone a dollar 75 you would be 150 in the red and that's where we're at now it's almost the opposite for your left eye you need five steps of far-sighted correction but you need only need two steps of astigmatism correction we're going to turn that fine tune knob to 33 of course your bifocal strength the add it means in addition to what's up top is a 250. now the polo ralph lauren polo 2211 sells for 179 it comes in several colors and sizes i will get those on the website if someone needs me to the zeiss light d digital freeform progressive lenses is 149.99 the transitions vantage is also $149.99. Now separately, Transitions is $100, Polarized is $70, so you're actually getting a little bit of a break. It's only $20 um, less than if you, when you combine the two. The DuraVision Chrome Anti-Glare is $69.99, and the 20% tint, and any tint, I should say, is $20 for a total of $568.97, tax-free. The reason why I point out tax-free now is a lot of people on the internet are having to charge tax. I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device, so I do not have to charge tax on any purchase. So I'm tax free and I always include free shipping anywhere in the US. Where's your frame? Let me grab your frame so I can pop in the left lens. I'm now gonna open the door with my mind. I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can. I just have to stare at it for a couple hours and then I can melt it. So, let's see if the left lens fits first time around. Tuck it in at the outside corner. Use my thumbs. Press down at the nose. It snaps right in. Take the block off. Pull the sticker away. Make sure it goes in the correct side this time. Come down here to the lensometer. Put it in over that black dot. Spin the fine tune knob to 33. read the power and i'm getting minus one and a quarter going away from one towards two now you have two steps of astigmatism correction and now we're at 175 one tick mark away from two that's because you have a minus one and a quarter this way a minus 50 here and that's how we line those two curves it's always 90 degrees apart x meridian and the, actually i think this is the x meridian this is the y meridian and we turn that fine two knob to 33 to make them nice and crisp now your pupillary distance is 59, optical center height of 22. This is the other part of the final inspection. Place my PD stick with the millimeters, not the inches. And then when we hold it up to the left lens, we're getting 59 millimeters. So that is cut perfectly, not to the bottom of the lens, but to the thickest part of the plastic. We're at 22 millimeters. That is perfect. 22 millimeters. Man, the kit is good. Now this is the portion of every video that as I clean your lenses, I mention that there's free shipping anywhere in the U.S. So when you get these in the mail, Lonnie, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other, and I'm no different. But because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. It only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust a pair of glasses perfectly. So just tell, stop by your local shop, tell them what needs to be done, and they'll know what to do. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Flip them over, press down, there is no wobble. Now when I say wobble, I'm part of the 80%. When I take off my Ray-Bans, they will wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do, that neither temple is askew. Now this is what your transitions vantage look like while you're indoors. You still have 
it's hard to see unless it's over a piece of white paper you do have that 20 percent gray tint that has been added to the lens anyone else who does not want that it would be virtually clear but this is what they look like before they have been activated hang on let me give them one more clean by the way i send out a selfie request in every package to have your picture on the website i'd love to have two one with them indoors and then one with you outdoors on the lake so everyone can see uh what they look like when they've been activated but i'm going to go ahead and expose them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light also in the, and in my transitions box that is now as you can see all photochromic transition lenses will turn dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first two weeks are exposed after that they will work for years at maximum performance the only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day and that's why they don't turn dark in a car now they're also temperature sensitive meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above but i'd like to remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside you're miserable they're miserable nobody works 100 percent when it's 100 degrees outside now i don't know how often it gets in triple digits in what in the state of washington but keep that in mind so this is what they look like when they have been activated the polarization is in effect they are, again only come in polarized gray for right now so but do me a favor if you've liked what you've seen like the video give me the thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already you can um, and then click the bell icon so you can get notifications of future videos with frame and lens combinations as they become available you can follow me on facebook and instagram as free prescription lenses on twitter as free rx lenses if you have any questions about i am an authorized polo dealer i, I know i don't have enough of these on the website so if there's a frame that you want go to the contact me page of the website let me know the model number, size, and color, and I will get it for you. Uh, you can also leave a comment in the comment section below. But Lonnie, this is actually your second pair in a month. I do thank you for your repeat business. This time you got the Zeiss Light D Digital Freeform Progressive Lenses with Transitions Vantage DuraVision Chrome and a light 20% gray tint. And the Polo 2211 color 57 eight six again yeah polo 2211 color 5786 in the 55 eye size and now hopefully everyone else has gotten a chance to see how i bring that love and feeling back to glasses thank you